Uh, to be honest, it was a crazy experience. You know, no experience like it. Just um, hearing the noise of the fans. You can't really like, you can't change it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a best feeling in the world. <laughs> Khalil, was that a, a read that he made at the line? Were there different options that he could go through there? Because on a, on a fourth and short, that's a pretty gutsy call. Yeah, it most definitely is. But um, you know, we've been running there in practice, and we you know scripted it out. So we always you know, been ready for that play. I knew I was about to score as soon as we called it. I was just ready to catch it for real. So when it's coming through the air to you, I'm sorry, Daniel. When it's coming through the air to you, mm -hmm. are you are you overthinking it, or is it, does it happen in a snap and it's just um, right there? It's kind of moving in slow motion. I'm just like, I see the ball. I'm like, kind of been in there for a minute. <laughs> and I'm just going to catch it for real. So, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, we scripted out and just been in the air, <laughs> catch it, touchdown. Ain't nothing better than that. What, what's it like having you know, the quarterback look to you on a fourth down in a, a do or die situation? Um, it's a good feeling for sure, you know, knowing that they trust me just to catch the ball and everything. Just, um, you no, know, Drew is such a great quarterback, and I know he's going to get it to me anytime. What has it been like you know, this year with Drew in his first year as a starter? How has that been going, and where do you feel like your guys' chemistry is? Uh, I feel like we got good chemistry with like all the tight ends, all the receivers. Um, Drew's definitely been growing since summer camp. No, he's been struggling, but like he's been struggling earlier. But you know, we got them, you no know, roughs, them bumps and bruises out. So I think he's going to be really good, like, down the road and everything. So he's going to be a great player. How is this tight end room finding consistency? Um, Just by, you know, we put in every – when we practice, we have a lot of uh, 12. So we just have a whole lot of rotation, make sure everybody gets some reps. So making sure that everybody getting in time and um, everybody practicing, you know, between Theo, Rap, uh, Tyler, you know, me and Jerry, you know, make sure we're getting all of our – rotation in. How strong do you think the room is and, and how are you guys making each other better? Uh, we make each other better every day just by competing. Our D squad making us better. Um, Jamil Lyons for sure making us better. Uh, just, uh, we coach each other up after almost every single play. So we just always on each other's back, um, always helping each other, making sure you know, we're not being complacent and everything, making sure we want to be the best tight ends in the room. Is it nice to see everyone finding success? I mean, Theo has some big plays. Tyler has yeah. some big plays. You have a big play. Most definitely is. You know, seeing Tyler score twice is just a great feeling as an ace. You know, being an ace and seeing another ace score, so it's a great feeling, especially when we're all on the field at the same time. So it's a, it's a wild feeling. Is there a sense of pride in being an ace? Um, yeah, there's a sense of pride and a sense of um, almost like determination just because I know – What's been through the Penn State's uh, tight ends with Pat Frymuth and Jesse and um, no, uh, Mike Chisicki. So it's just uh, yeah, a whole bunch of pride there. You knew how stacked this tight end room was when you committed to Penn State and came mm -hmm. to Penn State. What's it been like for you to fight and claw your way to get the playing time that you deserve? Um, it's been hard, you know, my first year, a lot of mistakes, but, you know, mistakes is learning. So it's just... Um, you gotta keep grinding through and keep finding your, keep finding your spot, and then the coach will see you. How have you seen young guys like Grappelier and, and Schlaffer, you know, respond to that in a mm -hmm. position that you were in just a few years ago? Um, no, it's kind of funny to see them in that same position that I was in. So it's, you know, it's good that I can help them get better. It's good that I can coach them, just how Brenton coached me and Theo and Tyler still be coaching me. So I'm glad I can help those young guys, you know, succeed and be the best they can. What stands out about the two of them as players so far in their career? Theo and Tyler. Uh, Andrew and uh, Joey. Um, Joey's still got a lot of learning to do. Um, you know, he's just been he be on he been on D squad, so he's you know, learning, getting the stuff down, getting more physical and rap. He's been more up with us, you know, getting uh, more rest of the ones and twos. So he got that more of a physical side to him, so that definitely helps him in the aspect. He just got that. Uh, he has that mindset that he just, like, he wants to be the best in anything he does. So definitely helps him when he practices and, and in games, too. Helps helps bring energy to the tight end room. William's a guy that you came in with, the same recruiting class, and he's been able to make an impact on the wide receiver position. Who? Sorry. Liam. Liam, yeah. Yeah, like you've been able to make an impact at tight end. Mm -hmm. Can you get, walk us through Liam and how he's been able to evolve similar to, like, you? Um, Being with Liam, I, I mean, so we're, on, we're on the same side of the ball, but – um. You know, he's been doing his thing. I know he has, I'm sure he has like a lot of pressure just with his brother, Sean, 
being in the NFL and, you know, being the quarterback of last year. So I'm sure people think he's going to do a lot of things that they want him to do. But um, he keeps his head down and he keeps on grinding and he's definitely going to be one of the best receivers that we have.